So as we continue our search for the best badge around the world, we've gone to the Dutchlands. That's right, the ne Nederland. To take a look at the Eredivisie. Here come the badges. <laughs> That's right, folks, back once again with another badge list. World Cup qualifier, that's what we'll call them. And we go on to the old Nederland, Ness Holland, to you and me, and take a look at the Eredivisie. And we'll get to that in just a second. If you're new to the channel, smash your subscribe button to keep your bag up to date with all things football badges related, World Cup related, Blackburn Rovers related. Oh, yeah. A new one, Rovski. Now, what what gives me the right to dictate uh, who is the best football badge in the Eredivisie? Well, uh, just to let you know, a bit of inside information. Oh, I like I like badges, mate. I like logos. I like all that kind of stuff. I've got a second channel right here, Box 500 Productions. And you'll actually, if you're uh, unaware of this, or if you are aware of this, there's going to be some new videos coming out on this uh, channel very, very soon. Give me another week or so, and we'll start churning out some more logo evolution videos or, or something else along those lines. So make sure you check that baby out. So yeah, just uh, it just it just it just talks about uh, the evolution of, for example, the Sprite logo. That's a pretty good video. Like it's very, very short, sharp, and sweet. You won't see any of my face there, uh, but you will possibly see my face right down here. And the Penn State event teardown and all these other. That's where I actually work. Um, obviously, with the uh, when we're back at work properly, if you know what I mean. Anyhow, let's get going and take a little look at, of course. Uh, the Erde Divisie. So we've got how many badges? 18 badges in the Erde Divisie. So we're going to rank them from elite to the dog poop. And if uh, at the end of this video, whatever badges are in the elite row, we'll make through. We'll go through to the World Cup of badges. Now that is a big old project. These are kind of like the qualifiers, the 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 filters. So once we get, th uh, we, we've gone through a few of the leagues now across Europe and, and of course England. Um, at the end of it. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, go to Twitter and, of course, the Facebook polls, the uh, the, uh, the uh, YouTube polls as well. Uh, so make sure you follow me on all social media platforms to take part in the old World Cup, baby. So we're going to start it off with this badge right here. It's FC Emin. Emin. Aye. Uh, 1925. Uh, what I did notice uh, preparing for this video, there's a lot of red and white logos knocking around in the old Dutchlands. Um, so, yes, it's got a castle in the middle. It's got the year. Uh, it does say FC Emmen, which uh, ticks a lot of my boxes. Now, I do just have a little bit of background information of what I like uh, as, a, as, as me. Uh, this is obviously my vote, my opinion. Uh, I do like traditional badges, old school badges. I'm not too keen on the old new badges. And when I see a badge, especially for, for the very first time, I want to be able to know who the heck it is instead of having to do a, a, a flipping Google search. And I'm, who the heck is this? So if it's got the writing across there or anything significant, for example, for, for example, if it had, um, I don't know, in New York, the Statue of Liberty on it, then you'd know it's from New York. Uh, but anyway, this one has FCM and written across it. So that does uh, it, the world of good. It has a nice little castle. So also some stars on there, which signify, I'm sure, something and a football. But... Does it uh, meet the criteria to be best of the rest? I don't think so. I think, uh, to be honest with you, I'm having a quick scan of these. Uh, there's a lot more exciting ones to come. I'm going to put it in the decent column, though, so it's it's not too shabby. Next up, we do have one that I think is pretty good looking. It's the Vietnamese. Vietnamese Armin. Uh, it's got two eagles on there, uh, both black and yellow. It says Vietnamese on there. It doesn't say Vietnamese Arnhem, but uh, they're on there. Um, so it has a big football in the middle. Um, I'm not too sure. Not 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 tip to not not tip top knowledge of the old Dutch leagues. They might play in, in, in black and yellow, uh, which probably would signify that in there. It's a good looking badge. I like this badge. Um, and it does say, it does, I nearly missed it. It does say 1892 at the bottom there. You could miss that uh, very, very easily. It's a good looking badge, uh, Vietnamese Armin. You, you, you've made it, you've qualified to, not the World Cup, but at least uh, to be in my, uh, into my food for thoughts a little bit later. So that one's in. Uh, another one similar. It's this one, VVV Venlo. Now we are... Um, you know, I, I get around a bit, I do. I used to live near VVV and Venlo. Um, it's right on the border between Germany and the Dutchlands. Uh, we didn't live in Holland. We lived in Germany, but uh, we would go through Venlo quite a fair bit. It's good to see them in the top division. Um, it, says, it does have the three Bs in there. It has the football in there. It's got the, the yellow colour, and it says the name clearly on there. It's a good-looking badge, and I, and I do like it. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's uh, obviously... Uh, in in Britain, we saw a lot of circular badges, but uh, it looks like could be, a shield could be a very, very good uh, or frequent option here. I'm going to stick VVV Venlo uh, in the best of the rest as well. Here's one for you, a uh, traditional one, PSV. Now, 
instantly it's, it's a very recognizable uh, badge out in the in in the, in holland um psv eindhoven has got the red and white stripes it's got a, a ring around it or a circular sort of whatever you call them uh it's got the flag in the middle it does say psv on there um it's i think it's a dated badge like an old school badge from back in the day um but it doesn't it's missing a lot of stuff for me i just think it could do maybe the year underneath here maybe psv eindhoven under there written written under there it's just a little bit it's a little bit boring it's just you know it's, it's just missing a bit of character you know a bit of something that separates it from the from the rest it's it's an okay badge but uh it is pretty you know it may be good in the football department but it's pretty meh in the old uh badge department uh here's one that my united fans will be familiar with is az alkmaar that's right uh, blowing up a little bit to take a closer look uh, does say az in there looks like a modern badge modern font modern whatever it's got the red and white halves similar to uh, fc emin as well um as snazzy as the font is and, uh, and all that kind of jazz. They're doing all right, actually, in the old Dutchies after uh, having checked out the leagues. Uh, this badge is also on a bit of a meh level. It's a, it's a, bit, it's a bit boring. It's lacking a bit of something. You know what I mean? When you compare to VT's Armin and the VVV Benner, there's more stuff. There's a lot more going on in there. More character, more more uh, things to stand out. Now, this one uh, is obviously the most famous badge, I think, in the old uh, Dutch leagues. It is Ajax Amsterdam. I think it's a traditional badge. I don't know. I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong, if you're, if you're a Dutch fan or whatever. Uh, how long this badge has been around now for me it, it seems timeless it's been there forever uh, but it might not be the case it's got a man in the middle it may be it may be some very very famous man is i'm not gonna i'm not even gonna ha not even gonna have a guess uh it says ix amsterdam on there it's got the face it's old school um maybe maybe have the guy colored in if you have the guy colored in and it pops out a little bit more then it might be a straight away elite but it's a very good badge uh, it's got a cut it's got two contrasting fonts it appears to be which is good and it's definitely different it's circular but it's 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 definitely different this one this one's got some characters got some legs in it uh and i think it's going to be in contention to go to the world cup now when i say go to the world cup it might be in the best of the rest but at the end of it i want to i want a few badges to be pushed up i'm putting them in there as like a safety net and we'll make our decision later now this one could go straight into there i think i'm looking at it right now it's uh den Haag, ado den Haag. is this alan pardew's team i think it is it says 1905 on this it's got stalking it's got something in its, in its beak, whether it's a worm or a little snake or something like that. We just we just don't know. Uh, standing on the ball, it's got the colours of the of the strips as well, yellow and green. It's also got the the trim on the outside as well. So this this is a colourful, good looking badge, and it does look a little bit modern. That's been given a bit of a facelift. So this one, I, I was going to put it straight through, but I think I'm going to put it in the uh, best of the rest for the time being. Next up, we do have a, a definitely a traditional badge. You can tell from the from the font, it's Willem Willem the uh, Willem Du or whatever. I don't know whether whether it is Sweater, uh, 1896. It says Tilburg on there. Uh, it, uh, as much as I want to like this badge, it does. It is a traditional looking badge, old school badge. I think the font is a little bit too boring, a little bit too Times New Roman. You know what I mean? Something like the, the default font on your computer. Looks like zero effort's gone into it. Um, it's got gold writing. I don't know if they play in gold or, or it, the gold signifies, uh, signifies uh, royalty or something like that. Uh, maybe this thing's a crown. I don't know. Uh, I like it, but uh, it's not going to be uh, in the mix, unfortunately. It's going to be in the decent pile alongside FC Emin. So away it goes. Now, here's a quality looking back. It looks like Roy of the Rovers on the front there. Sparta Rotterdam. Now, it has a lot of white space knocking about, but the detail in the man is absolutely incredible. I do like it a lot. Uh, and this badge has got some legs, literally. It's got legs on it. Uh, the man with the ball. Uh, with a, it looks like he might have a moustache. I don't know. Uh, it's it's a good looking badge. It is very good. A lot of detail in there as well. The font as well. Two different types of fonts. Sparta Rotterdam. Similar, similarly of Ajax. This one, for me, I think I'm going to put them right in the elite column. It's, it's up there. It's a good looking badge and it belongs up there. Next up, we have an interesting one. Uh, I do like this one, but I just don't know what's, what's going on. It's SC Head and Veen. That's right. Now, initial thoughts. I thought these were love hearts, uh, but there could be beans. There could be kidneys. There could be something else. I have no idea what the heck they are. It's, it's a very colorful, very colorful badge. Uh, and it says SC Heremine on there. So you, I show this to the wife and she'd be like, Heremine, that's, that's who it is. Because it says it right there. Simple, simple, boys. But is it, got, is it good enough? Is it good enough to compete? I just don't think so. Uh, it's colourful and, and it is vibrant and it's definitely different. And if you are a fan of these, this team or just a fan of Dutch leagues in general and know what them pissing things are, let me know in the comment section down below. But Head and Bean are going nowhere. They're, they're a decent badge uh, and I'm going to push them if I can, if I can see. Uh, right next there to the decent. That's a good looking badge. It is. Here's one. Uh, it looks old school. It's RKC Valvik. 
Volvic pronunciations uh, on a postcard. It's got a lion or a phoenix or a dragon or whatever it is on the badge there. It does say RKC Phoenix, but it looks like a default boring uh, zero effort job. Um, and I, I usually like the phoenixes and the and the animals and, and that it just it just it adds it adds character, adds depth, adds history. Uh, but this one. Is boring. I'm sorry. Okay, I think you're a poor team as well. You're struggling maybe at the bottom of the table, but you're struggling here at the dog shit badge. Yep, my first dog shit contender. No disrespect to you. I, I, I've got no. I've got no angst against any of these Dutch teams. I don't think anyway. There might be. There might be one that I don't like, but nah. I think. I think I'm. I'm pretty content. Next up, we have this one. It looks very, very good. I don't know what the the whole scale of what's involved here is. PEC smaller. Uh, at first glance, I think it's a, a windmill. Uh, in there, is it? It's got some panelling on the on the, what I appear to be the windmills. Um, so, is it a windmill or not? Because if it is a windmill, I love it. If it's not a windmill, then it's then it's then it's, then it's not good. Uh, in that regard, I, I just don't know whether or not to push it forward into the best of the rest. Because I'm, I'm I'm on the fence. Because if I think it's a windmill and it's not, then I look stupid. So, and on that on that note, I think I'm just gonna have to be. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take one on the chin here and, and move him into the decent corner. It's a good looking badge. It's colourful. It says Zvola on there as well, but uh, it's just a little bit of doubt in my mind. It might not be a windmill, um, but it'll have to do. Here we go, though. Here's a badge. In fact, there's a couple badges coming up right now. It's Hercules, 1903. <coughs> Look at that. Uh, I saw a couple of badges the uh, past couple of days uh, in Italy, Brescia with the lion. This is a man's face with a lion's head on top. Goodness me, how how kick ass is that? How macho is that? Black and white, I'm sure they play black and white. There was a little touch of blue here with three diamonds on there. Is that three three titles in the past? I don't know. Good looking badge, bold, it's like in your face. And I would not be ashamed to wear this badge. No questions asked. It's a quality badge and it's in the mix, boys. It's in the mix. Hercules has a shot to get to the World Cup Finals. Uh, one I think I'm going to put straight through is this guy. I just want to blow it up to have a little look. It's Fortuna Sittard. That's got a woman on there with appears to be like some sort of horn or something with a with a wheel in the back. Football. It's got the, it's got three four colours in there: yellow, green, white, and black. Fortuna Sittard. The woman's hair is flocking in the wind. It's a good looking badge. It is very very good. Don't know what it all means, but that is an impressionable badge and it's an unusual shape as well. It's not an awkward one to work with. I think it's it's as a design point of view. It's it's good looking badge and uh, Sparta has some company in the next round already. Uh, here we go, FC Feyenoord. Um, it's one of the red and white ones that are always knocking them out. It's in a circular badge, which again I'm not the biggest fan of circular badges, unless you're Blackburn Rovers, of course. Um, and Feyenoord, what, just say uh, you know F is it FC FC, what is it? Fy I don't know. Um, anyway, it's Rotterdam uh, Feyenoord. Yeah, um, I'm not. I'm not going to waste time on this one. I think it's a bit boring. Uh, it, 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 you know, a big fat F in the middle. It's like the Napoli badge, isn't it? With a big fat N. It's like zero effort. Uh, so the same thing can be said for this one. FC Utrecht. Um, it has all the colours in there. And um, unfortunately, uh, instant instant appeal or instant response is to stick it alongside RKC Valivik in the dog shit pile. This one has again zero effort. It's in a shield though. So, yeah, there you have it. Uh, we're on to the final couple now, and it's FC Twente. Yes, uh, what's his name? Steve McLaren knows this team very, very well. I believe he was he was the manager. Now, this is a, a, a stallion uh, on there, a, like in a, an aggressive sort of pose, has 1965 on there, and, I th and it appears, for my instance, that the, the stallion is on top of a football, um, and it says FC Twente. It's got the colours on there. It's bold. It's in your face. It's a good-looking badge, and it's in contention for a spot uh, in the next round, a uh, possible World Cup position. So it's good. It's very, very good. I agree with that. Next time is FC Groningen. Uh, this is um, this is actually Luis Suarez's old club before his Liverpool days, or maybe before something else. He started off his European adventure here in FC Groningen. Um, it's a good-looking badge. Um, it's not. It's not wrong with it. It's got a G in the middle, I believe. It looks like a G. Um, colourful, but is it is it a World Cup winner? Would it be an injustice to put this through to the next round? It definitely, I think so. When you look at the, some of the best of the rest, so Groningen goes on alongside the decent column, uh, and now we got to make the decision. We're probably pushing two guys, two extra guys, through to the next round. Do we go Vietti's Armand? Do we go VVV Venlo, Ajax, Den Haag, Hercules, or Twente? 
F C twenty. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm I'm gonna be bold here and uh, put Hercules through. I did like that one initially. Uh, a black and white badge with a touch of blue. That's uh, that's you know brave move. I think. Uh, and then joining it, um, I'm I'm on the fence. Ix is obviously a powerful, recognizable uh, badge around the world, and um, it would probably get a lot of support, which is which could be a bad thing. Um, Vietti's armor. I like the I like the the two eagles on there. The the contrasting colors. The Vivendo is out. So I'm thinking at the minute I'm I'm torn between Vietti's armor, FC twenty, and uh, Den Haag. But I think I'm actually losing the belief in the Den Haag one. I think uh, it's not a bad badge. It's good. So I'm going to push him. He's out. So it's between these two, what do we have so far? We have a lion. We have a, a woman. We have a man. Uh, we have two eagles there, and we have a horse, a stallion. 1965. It's a good looking badge. I do like I'm going to go with FC20. FC20 will go through to join the likes of Hercules, Fortuna Sotard, and Sparta Rotterdam into the next round. Vietti's arm, and unfortunately, you're out. Ut pal. Aye. Do you agree or disagree? Get your own thoughts and opinions in the old comment section down below and tell me what you think about my picks for the World Cup of Badges. That's right, for the Eredivisie. We'll do it all again tomorrow where we'll take a look at another team, another a league. We might even go to France. Uh, we might even go across the pond to the USA and check out the MLS badges. We've got it all here, baby. Number one, Rufski. Uh, yeah, check out the old description. Links to my those important social media platforms. Twitter, Facebook, and of course, Patreon. Uh, if you want to become patrons of the channel, that's the place to go. It's patreon.com forward slash Overseas, but in order to vote uh, when the when we do get to that point, uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link in there down below so you can participate in the World Cup of badges, and we'll find a winner at the end of all this long-winded hoodoo. Until then, boys and girls, be sure to bang the thumbs up, bang the subscribe, and I'll see you same time, hopefully tomorrow. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.